hello guys welcome back to the tips in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix this apple id has not been used in the itunes store for all the ios 14 devices and how to fix it so completely so when you're trying to download something on your app store you'll be having this trouble which means this apple id has not been used in the itunes store and we're going to talk about how to fix this app so let's get started so first thing what you have to do is you just have to tap on review option over there and from here you just have to follow the instructions so now what you have to do is as you can see that agree to terms and conditions you have to turn this on and you have to tap on next icon at the top from here as you can see that they, they are asking the first thing you have to aware is you have to keep it to none not to credit card or debit card you have to keep it to none which is very important you have to change to that then you have to give the billing address over here in the billing address you have to give the details for the required only not for the optionals you can keep the same you have to give the respective billing address of yours to the required option which are asking required right you have to give over there you have to give all the instructions and the optionals can be kept the same you don't have to change it Once the details are given, you just have to tap on next over there at the top. And once after that, you have to give the phone number also, which is quite important. So I'll be giving the phone number. So once every required things are given and it is all filled, now you just have to tap on next option at the top. Now what you have to do is you just have to tap on continue. Now once after that you just have to tap on let me check by tapping over there and go for install. And you have to give the respective Apple ID password. And go for sign in. And as you can see that the app will be successfully getting downloaded without any issue. So guys, as you can see that the app is getting downloaded without any issue and there is no issue which I mentioned above. So this is about how you can fix this up and you can try this for even for the iOS 14 as well as all, all the versions. And I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.